Hello guys, welcome once again to another episode of the Agriculture in Africa video series. As you can see, I'm holding one big catfish. And we are here at one very big farm, about 4,000 fish capacity farm. And I'm here with someone who is doing it big. Someone who is changing the African narrative and is doing something very, very big in catfish farming in Cameroon. He is no other but Mantua Clinton. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you sir. It's a privilege for me welcoming you here. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now, the thing is, sincerely, I know there are a lot of people who want to do this kind of business. Yes, yes. Sir. And I am sure that your story, how you started, how, you know, before getting to this level, how it all happened. I mean, tell us a small background about yourself and how it all happened. Why, why are you into this? Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm from the, from the Dublin. Dublin. Yes, Dublin. In the Northwest, eh? In the Northwest region. And you know there, fishing is one of the major, I can say one of the major activities that is being carried there, yes. out there, yes. towards Bambalang, the ba Bafanji, all of those places. Yes. So, growing up as a kid, we usually, we usually go for the, for fishing in, in the wild. Yes, that in those rivers. Place. Yes, in those, <laughs> in those rivers. Right. And, uh, some few years ago, I I actually started with Cortec. That is, I went to Cortec school. Okay, yeah, kind yeah. of like a training center. Yeah, just doing yeah. animal production technology. Okay. And this was uh, one of my major focus. You have this with other stuff. Yes. For now, I'm still struggling to put this at a certain level before getting other stuff. Uh, been done right yeah yeah so there we have been visiting different fish farms you started visiting different farms eh? different farms mm -hmm. around the northwest region and uh, finally 2018 i went for internship in the Boloa. okay yeah yeah that is where all the journey began okay yes and for how long have you been into fish farming so far three years now three years now yes all right, let me just ask you a few things. Uh, this batch, as we see here, I understand that it can take um, about how many fish can we put inside this, uh, this batch? Okay, this, this batch, this batch from, uh, from fingerlings, we can put even up to 20,000 fingerlings here, but at the mature stage, you have 1,500. Okay, uh, 1,500 fish. Yes, and it can be more than this if you have enough water. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. If you increase the size, the, the level. The volume of the water. The volume of the so water. Maybe this level. Yeah, yeah. You can have even up to like 2,500. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so Mr. Clinton, now from your experience, is this business a profitable one? Yes, it's a profitable business for me because a lot of people go into the stuff and... Uh, when they uh, face challenges, they start they back out. yes, they back out <laughs> and start telling people is uh, it is not moving. It's not a business to venture into. Okay. But all all you need in this business, you have the basics, mm -hmm. you have the consistency. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then you focus now more on the skills, mm -hmm. other skills that you will learn to put implement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like so what, what's the most important thing that you need to know before you start this kind of business, before you start a fish farm? Okay. The most important thing you need to know is why are you going into it? Okay. Yes. So you your need reason to have, why you're doing yeah, it yeah. should be the first. Yes, yes. <laughs> why, why? Why? And are you capable? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you capable? Then now think about the market. Mm -hmm. Yes. You think about the market before even trying to get into it. Okay. Yes. So first, you need you need also an expert that would drill you, would give you the basics, would tell you that this one is like this, do like this, do like this. Mm -hmm. Yes. The from experience, mostly uh, people between uh, from forty years invest in this. In this, in this fish farming, mm -hmm. those who have gone for retirement, mm -hmm. yes, yes, 
and they just think that it's uh, something very easy like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, since in the wild, uh, fishermen will just go and catch fish, mm -hmm. all of those things. They don't know you need to you need have some basically, technical skills. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, and then where, where is the, now? Right now, we are in uh, Lopo, we are in uh, uh, Lopo. Lobesu. Yeah, well, Lobesu, Bonamusa, Lobesu Duala. Yeah. So where do you actually get your clients? Like, do you sell to the local market? Do you export? How do you, how do you, how do people get to discover you and start buying from you? Okay. Uh, actually, marketing is also a skill. Okay. Yeah, yes. Now, like I did not started in Duala. Mm -hmm. I have people in Bamenda. I have stations in Bamenda that I have installed. But here in Duala. I took some few months and I'm still doing research. Mm -hmm. The market research. We want to penetrate the market mm -hmm. for the fresh especially. Mm -hmm. Because now we are doing but only drying mm -hmm. the smoke. The smoke. Yes, yeah, the, the smoke and dry. Mm -hmm. Yes. But for now we have the market for the dry. For the dry also. Yes, yes. I take it directly to the consumer mm -hmm. yes okay yeah but there are few middlemen who come to uh, to buy right yes at the wholesale to retail mm -hmm. in the market okay so you can say that from your experience right yes you can start this kind of business with about how much like let's say the minimum you can advise someone to start will be about how much okay also you have you need to know you need to know that environments also count when it comes to business mm -hmm. like here you have if you want to put put up another pond here mm -hmm. we already have the water yes 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 we already have some stuff in mm -hmm. place mm -hmm. so the person who does not have water mm -hmm. will, and security yes we spend more more to start yes more to start yeah but let's just say you already have your water and mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. uh at first i usually get this drum advise people to, to start in drums to start in drums mm -hmm. but i uh, realize that it is it's like useless mm -hmm. starting in drums mm -hmm. because you cannot put 50 fish and you are expecting to to remove mm -hmm. them, yes, mm -hmm. remove them, remove them, and actually there are a lot, lot of things that you will not understand in the yeah. drum. Yeah. yeah. So, and uh, the minimum for now that I can advise anybody to start, not to over exaggerate, is five hundred fish. Five hundred fish. Yeah, yes. Okay. But if you are starting five hundred fish, just know that you are not doing business. You are not into business. You are just doing uh, some yeah. kind of like trial error yes, yes, yes. or some kind of training. <laughs> yeah, yes. And that will be like about how much. So the budget yeah. will be about how much to start. Okay, that the small. budget for that, you need a tarpaulin of about one fifty meter, one point five meter square. Meter square. Mm -hmm. Yes. Those five hundred fish, and you have the feed. Mm -hmm. uh, the feet, the price fluctuate. Mm -hmm. So now, excluding the feet, mm -hmm. with with one hundred and fifty thousand, you can put you can up something. Started. Yeah, yes, okay. yes. But so are you going to use just one badge for the five hundred fish, or you're going to have like two or three badges? Because the tarpaulin. You know, when it starts getting big, probably you need to separate them and do calibration and all of that. Will, will one batch be, be, be okay? You can put in one batch. Okay. Now, you you do more work there. Okay. Yes, but if the money is also available, with that 150,000 francs, you can do two tapulin. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. And uh, also, the the growth rate also, mm -hmm. yes, also depends on what species you are, you are dealing with. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So guys, I just did a very, very big catch. <laughs> and um, now, see, this is this is ready for sale, right? Yes, yes, ready, very ready. This is ready for sale? Yes, you are selling already, even. You are selling already, okay. Yes. And each of these ones here will weigh about how many uh, kilograms? You have average of six 
zero point six kilogram. That is so. So, and you can just write him and get to him and place your orders and buy your fish. So, until next video, bye bye. Thanks for watching. Ciao. <laughs>